What's poppin' people, Zinx here bringing you another Forza Horizon 4 video. In this Forza Horizon 4 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an unlimited money and unlimited influence glitch that is involving unlimited super wheel spins. So let's get straight into it. Now, first off, I'm gonna be showing you guys the PC version of this. Now you can do it on Xbox One, it's just a bit more complicated. Now, number one thing that you need to know, this is only for VIP members only. This is an extremely effective and amazing glitch, but if you are not a VIP member, unfortunately, you cannot do it. So I really recommend getting the VIP pass or whatever it is, uh, but if you don't have it, you can't do it. So get it if you want to do this glitch, and you will see to determine how actually good this glitch is i would recommend watching the entire video so you can see if it's worth it in your mind i honestly believe that it is because you can make a lot of money really fast especially if you are on pc it is significantly faster on pc but anyways guys let's get straight into it so first things first as you can see we are on the desktop of my computer or like the home screen uh, now i've done this on both my laptop and my desktop computer so I kind of know the main the main ways of going around it so basically say we're on desktop okay which which is what we are I'm gonna show you guys the desktop method first so now I am plugged into an Ethernet cable right now and that's how I get my Wi-Fi because where I am the Wi-Fi is significantly slower than the actual hardware connection so if you want to play games you need a hardware connection so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our Wi-Fi and internet things and as you can see I have my Wi-Fi turned off so my desktop does have a Wi-Fi chip as well as doing the Ethernet so if I wanted to I could go on Wi-Fi but so what you need to do is you need to be able to know that this is the button that turns your Wi-Fi on and off now if you're on a laptop uh, you're gonna to need to know this for a fact because my, at least my laptop does not have an Ethernet port so I do not use Ethernet I have to use Wi-Fi so you're gonna be able to need to know where this button is. So if you are plugged in Ethernet, you want to turn your Wi-Fi off now because you're gonna be unplugging your Ethernet cable. Anyways, so the next step is you're just gonna simply want to launch your game. Now for some people, they can turn their Wi-Fi or internet off of their computer or unplug their Ethernet uh, before they launch the game. Now what I've noticed that you simply cannot launch the game when you are not plugged in, I'll show you. I'm going to unplug my ethernet. I'm gonna to try to launch Forza Horizon 4 and it's literally just not gonna let me. It's gonna give me this, connect to a network. And now some people are able to launch the game while they have no internet. I've seen it before. I just don't understand how they do that because I am completely unable to. So I'm gonna plug my ethernet back in just so I can get my Wi-Fi back. I'm gonna mute my computer so we don't hear any weird noises because I forgot about that. Now we're going to go to launch the game. Now you guys, you're going to have to sit here for a little bit. Let this main screen, if you're on PC, this is going to take a minute to uh, load. Now if you're on Xbox, I'll explain that in a minute. It's a bit more complicated. Uh, so once you get here, once you see the loading screen, you're going to simply turn off your Wi-Fi if you're on your laptop uh, or on your computer. Now I'll show you where that is. Let me, or unplug your Ethernet. If you're doing desktop methods, you're just going to go down here. And you're just gonna click that so that button's gray and no longer blue that means your Wi-Fi is off and if you got zero connection that means the glitch is ready and you can do it uh, so now you're just gonna let the game load up now the Xbox version is a little different it's way simpler like I said on PC you literally just turn off your Wi-Fi on Xbox you're gonna have to uninstall your VIP membership and then you're gonna have to turn off your Wi-Fi uh, through the settings uh, and that just takes a little bit longer than literally unplugging an Ethernet cable out of your wall like it is for me when I do my method. So now you're basically just gonna sit here, let the game load up. This may take a minute. It sometimes is weird and black screens. I don't know uh, what's up with it. It's very wonky, I guess you can say, is the right word, wonky, yeah. That's a good word. I'm probably gonna have to restart my game because sometimes it just, oh, just continue through all the loading screens as normal and let the game completely load up fully. Now it doesn't take too long for me, luckily my computer is pretty fast and it loads up pretty instantly. And once you're in here, you're just gonna completely back out of both of these screens and you're gonna go to the normal uh, driver mode. And then from there, you're simply going to just go back and you're gonna go to your map. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make your way over to the 
Lake Lodge, which is the VIP membership free house uh, that you unlock. Now, I've unlocked, as you can see, I've purchased the house over here that is allowing me to fast travel anywhere so I can simply fast travel for free because uh, I got all the fast travel boards as well. So I can fast travel here uh, for free and super fast. That's the best method to do it. If you have not unlocked that, you simply just need to make your way over here. Just drive over here. Uh, and then once you're actually here, this is when you're going to go and you're going to turn your internet back on. So go back out, go to your Wi-Fi, turn it on, or plug in your ethernet like I do. So I'm simply going to plop that back in the wall. Give it a minute. Now go back into your game. And then from here, uh, whoops, you're just going to enter into the house. Now for some people, this is different for my, from what I've seen, and I've tested it multiple times on different computers, you have to click on the get the free VIP once the gray thing pops up, uh, just exit out of that, and then it pops up with a purchase for free of the VIP. Now if, if, the per if this one pops up first, you simply just gotta click on that, you don't need to click on the bottom one, and you wanna make sure you're purchasing it for free. So make sure you're not buying the $5 million one, or else you're gonna completely screw yourself over and waste five million. And so from there, you get the, you just gotta click no, make sure you click no on that screen, uh, because that, well, if you click yes, that will kind of mess things up and you don't wanna do that. And from there, you're just gonna back out of this screen, and then as you can see, give it a minute once it loads into the game, we're gonna go back to the menu. We're gonna go to Horizon Life, Super Wheel Spins, and as you can see, I've got 204 wheel spins remaining right there. Now this gives you five, I had 199 before I started, and as you can see, I've already made 200 off of doing this. I've made probably around 300, and I've spun a bunch of them and just mess around and it's an absolutely spectacular glitch as you can see i've got 12 million credits and that is a that is an absolute absurd amount now as you can see the wheel spins are not particularly the greatest uh you get like there you go i, I got a nice horizon or yeah first horizon edition i got eagle speedster which is a legendary item but as well i got clothes and unfortunately in this game you get clothes and horns and completely fucking useless stuff uh, sorry about my language but uh, sometimes you just do not get good prizes like I don't need those two th first things like I do not want to have I've literally not changed my outfit since I've started playing this game and I've got no reason to change my outfit it's kind of annoying that they added that to the game and unfortunately compared to like Horizon 3 where you just got an absolute ton of uh, cars and money it's it's not the same anymore but anyways you guys also just saw I got 6,400 influence for getting a car collector so every car you win adds to your uh, hero for the car collector if you don't know what that is you go over to heroes you can see I am level 20 in mine now all I need is 2,600 more influence uh, and then I get a wheel spin unlock and as you know, wheel spins equals more money, and then I can get more cars, which is more influence. So you keep on leveling up from doing this. So every single time you level up this hero, one more level, you actually get more influence that goes towards your actual rank in game. Now, when I started doing this glitch, I was 87, and I've only opened up maybe a hundred or so of these super wheel spins, and I've gone up over. 10 levels and from 87 to 99 that's not bad and that takes quite a bit of influence so you do level up it's slower it's not really a leveling up glitch it's more for the money and for the cars but it's definitely worth it uh, this is literally the best method out there there's no way there's no other method or anything like doing normal races that will get you this much money this fast now I'm gonna show you guys again that it actually does work I'm gonna exit to desktop and I'm going to do it all over again. Now, it's fairly simple, very fast on PC. I will show you how fast it actually is for me. So all you gotta do is simply let this load up. We're going to wait till the menu screen. We're going to unplug my ethernet. We're gonna let it go through all of the normal screens. Uh, and from there, I'm just gonna skip this because obviously it's probably a little boring. You don't wanna watch this, so you've probably seen the main menu screen many times all right it's that fast you just hop on into the game again as you can see from there you back out you back out you go on over once it loads into the game you 
just simply go over here. We're gonna fast travel on over there. It's fast travel for free. Loads about instantly because I love this computer for its load times. And then, where the fuck did it teleport me? Well, that ain't the right location at all. All right, fantastic. I just, uh, 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 I don't know. All right, okay. All right, so from there, you're gonna wanna plug back in your ethernet. I, I think I just gave myself, I just scratched my finger. And then we're going to go into here. Wait for it to load in. We're going to click that, click out of that. Wait for that to change. Bam. And there we go. We just got five more and I'll show you. We just got five more. So once we get through here, make sure you click no back out of here. And then we got to go back into the menu. Go over to Horizon Life super wheel spins and bam five more unlocked now hopefully we can get some more money we're gonna go through these five real quick oh 400 000. that's pretty nice i do like seeing that that will add a good good amount to my bank account i enjoy seeing ones like that we got a ferrari that's that's a nice that's a nice car i can't complain about a ferrari at all no one can complain about a ferrari and then we're gonna go let's see what else we're gonna get Okay, a rally fighter is kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that a uh, 400,000 instead. That would have been a lot, a lot nicer. And then we're going to get... We almost got Horizon Edition, but nope, we got a fucking t-shirt. That's what I want. I want a t-shirt. Uh, I've always, always wanted a t-shirt. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go. Those are some nice things. You got to... An Alpha Romeo Horizon Edition, that looks like. Uh, and then we got a Ford GT. That's a, that's a good cop right there. Th those are some good ones. Definitely some good ones for sure. I mean, damn, I can't complain about those. Now, as you can see, let's, as you can see from my car collection, I've literally, there, that's what, oh, so it is an Alpha Romeo. All right, all right, that's cool. That's definitely cool. Yeah, we've got plenty of cars. Uh, I've gotten a lot of Horizon Editions, which are pretty awesome from doing this. You get a lot of cars, definitely. Not as many as the old days, but you still get some, you get some, what the hell is that? You get some cool cars, that is for sure. But anyways, guys, that's basically, let me get out of here. But anyways, guys, that is basically, as you can see right there, I got 8,000 more ranked up. Just got a wheel spin, and we're going to get to rank 100. There we go. That fast, that simple. We're rank 100 now. And like I said, you literally rank up from getting cars. So this is technically a ranking up method as well. But anyways, guys, if that's it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If it was like this, like always, I hope you enjoyed. Zinx is out.